I'm back. After three fitness classes off, I'm ready to return. I don't know if you missed me or not, but I missed you. Again, we're going to start very, very slow, warm up. I have my chair ready, have my water ready, I have my walking shoes, and I'm ready to go. I'm not sure how many of you are actually watching this. It's kind of hard to figure out how to encourage you when I don't know who uh, I am encouraging. I, um, I did realize though that getting a lot of steps in every day is a challenge. It's a very definite challenge. Again, I'm just walking slow and um, I'm a walker. I always have been a walker. I prefer to mow the lawn, pushing the mower. I prefer to carry my clubs and walk when I am golfing, whether it be nine holes or 18 holes. So I do consider myself a seasoned walker. Many of you may not be, and I want to take that into consideration. Okay, we're going to do some low kicks just to get warmed up a little bit. Um, when we were in our competition a couple weeks ago, I think I told you I was averaging about 21,000 steps a day. And I thought that was pretty good. We were setting a goal for 10, and I was doing 21. It wasn't hard for me to do that. I appreciate the opportunity to walk. So um, other people were going crazy. Julie would, um, I'd go into her office, We'd be talking, and I'd be standing there just moving the whole time. I would just say, just get out of here. Kim would push me out of the, um, you know, front reception area. Just go walk around the gym. I really enjoyed walking, back to walking. But when I was off and not on the challenge anymore, I found that on a good day, I was averaging only 6,000 steps. I was letting everything else get in my way and I was not actually trying to walk. So when they tell us 10,000 steps a day is good, let's go to the side, so this, back and forth, I realize that's not something we do consciously. It's something that we have to make an effort to do. Kick a little behind you. And so, how important it is for us to actually schedule walking into our day. I hear many people say, you know, I'm on my feet all day. I get the walking in. Yeah, you think so, but it isn't actually a lot of steps. Just being on your feet is not always exercise. And back to gentle walking again. So, I want you to think about how you could add an extra 500 to 1,000 steps a day. Um, maybe by doing half of this video every day, you would be adding to your walking and gradually build up. It does take some time. It may take, hmm, I don't know, when I go outside to walk, I can usually do about 10,000 steps in an hour. Not everybody has that hour that they want to spend that day. But try to get up every hour and do some type of walking. I have um, this little watch, and when we were doing the challenge, I set it so that it would, um, every half hour, say, please get up and move. And that's if I was just sitting. And I know I was at a dinner party. We were sitting there just talking after dinner, and my um, watch buzz and I said, oh, excuse me. And I got up and I walked around the table a few times, sat back down. We were playing triply one night. Every time someone would deal, I'd get up and I'd just move my feet. Okay? Kick, 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 kick. So I learned that walking is not something that just happens. If you really want to have a walking program, you have to build it into your day. You have to try all the little ways you can have a little bit of walking. Okay, let's take side steps. 
No, they take, take the steps. Park as far away in the parking lot as you can. That's good, but it may only give you an extra 100 steps. So you want to make sure you're doing a few more things. Like I told you before, stand up during commercials. Move your body. Nice and easy. Not using our arms yet. I want to thank Rhonda for filling in for me um, the three days I was gone. I enjoyed watching her. I hope you did too. Um, she's a little bit slower paced than I am, so you can go back and um, watch the reruns of her if you want. And back to walking. You know, just pick up a little bit, use our arms a little bit more. Okay, we're going to try something a little different today. I want you to on your toes a little bit, and then down a little bit. Toes. I'm not sure why, but they call walking on your toes. The farmers walk. And I've been looking for the background on that and haven't been able to find it. So if any of you know, please let me know. I think you can feel this in your calves. And back to walking. Arms a little bit more engaged. Let's do some kicks. Number two, stand tall. Look ahead, don't look down. If you need to use the chair, just put your hand on the chair and that'll keep your balance for you. Kick, kick, kick. Only about a medium kick, that's all you need. Remember to breathe in, breathe out. Four, three, two, one, and back to walking. Side steps. Let's get the arms a little bit engaged here. It's a great way to spend a rainy Monday morning. And the nice thing is, if you do this, and then you decide later in the day it's still raining and you can't go out, you can remember all of these moves, just do them on your own. You can do a five minute, you can do a 10 minute, you can do a one minute walk and you'd be surprised how that adds up. Back to walking. I was raking when I was at my daughter's house in Connecticut. They're about two weeks ahead of us with all of their vegetation and I don't know, leaves, twigs. And I worked in her yard for two hours, looked at my watch. I had not even um, walked 500 steps. I was using my arms and I was moving a little bit, but I was not walking. It was a lot of work. It was not the walking exercise that I thought I was going to get. I noticed when I walk golf course for nine holes, I may get 4,000 steps. So when you think you're out there and you're walking and walking and walking, steps um, don't add up as fast as you think they might. Okay, let's go down and up, down and up, not too much, Above your shoulders here. Keep looking ahead. Don't look at the floor. That'll make you even more dizzy. Down, up, down, and up, down, and up. Some of you may have music on. That's good. You don't have to listen to me. It's hard to think things to say and walk, walk, walk. I can't stress breathing. 
can't stress posture enough. I took a big gulp of water before I started. If you didn't, you feel like you need some water, grab it any time. I'd say try to keep your feet moving, but I know what happens when I do that. Okay, let's put our hands here, bend our knees a little bit, and kick behind. Nice, gentle kicks. Breathe out. You can do this, and then you'll be ready and ready to go into your housework. Run up and down the stairs to do the laundry if you're fortunate enough to have to do that. Some people have it all on the same floor. You're not getting nearly the exercise they could get. I hate to say this, but my mom is 95 and um, lives in a two story house. Up until just a few months ago, she was going to the basement to do her laundry. My mom gets along pretty well. She attributes it to having the three floors and using them. She goes up to sew, comes down, has lunch, goes back up and sews again. So she's up and down those steps several times a day. She slowed down a little bit, takes her a little bit longer, but she can still do it. Okay, let's make a little muscle here. Blow out and lean into it. race and slow down and back to walking. We'll go out, 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 out. Push, 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 push. You can go high with your leg if you want. You can just go halfway. You can go very low. Get those hands up, just about shoulder height. Get your heart pumping a little bit more. Gets that blood flowing. Doing these different steps, not just walking, keeps your mind active and alert. Keeps your heart, blood circulating. And everything is good and worthwhile and walk, walk, walk. I wish you had some walking jokes. I have none. I'll look up those. Now I want you to do some leg lifts. Then go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Notice when you do this, you get a little bit of curve there at the waist. It's not a bad thing. Eight, seven, three, two, one, and walk, walk, walk. Okay, now we're gonna do some sides. A little bit more of a tourniquet waist. Didn't realize how much I missed this. I thought, oh, you know, I'll walk. I'll get those steps in. And I did take a couple nice walks, but it's not the same. I like to get the whole body involved. It just makes me feel good. Eight. Four, two, one, and back to walking. Heart. Out. Again, do what you can do. Keep your feet moving. If this is a move you don't really want to do, then just keep walking. Keep your feet moving. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna do doubles. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's a little bit different than if you're walking on the road. You probably want to stop and do this. And walk, walk, walk. When you're walking on the road though, remember, walk facing traffic. Try the sidewalk, walk on the right hand side. That way there should be no accidents. You won't be running into each other. Keep your head up, keep your arms moving. This is a very good watch. If I do this, have only one arm going, it will not record my steps. It only records if I have my arms and legs going at the same time. So a lot of times I have found that I carry things in this hand. I found this out when we were on the challenge. I carry my groceries on this hand. Notice, I walk as far as I could to my car. I'm getting no steps. So you want to keep everything actively engaged to get the real walking workout. Let's go. Down and up a little higher. Down and up a little higher. You're all warmed up. Your heart rate's up, and that's where we want to keep it. Two, two, one, and back to walking. Let's do some heels. Out, out. Keep those arms up a little bit. Again, a little bend at the waist there, or twist at the waist, not a bend yet. feedback. We notice that we have viewers. We have people who will you know, at least turn it on. We don't know if uh, when Julie has her classes or Kristen or Rhonda or me, we're not getting any feedback, positive or negative. For instance, if there's something you would like to do, for instance, if you want to say, Sarah, let's speed up a little bit or let's slow down, send us a note. We will try to accommodate. As I said, right now it's just me and the camera. And um, not a whole lot of feedback in there. I'm getting a little bit of shoulders involved here. It's not much. Hands are still above the heart. Blowing out, and I'm trying to remain looking up and smiling because I'm happy about what I'm doing today. It feels really good. If you don't want to do that, just keep walking. Walk, walk, walk. I talked to someone this morning. She said she doesn't watch it because she doesn't want to just stand and walk. And for her, she rides a bike, she goes out on the trail, she's walking. But for those of you who are not up to that, you don't really want to do that, you've never been a walker, but you know you should be doing something, this might be just the thing for you. You're not doing a whole lot, but you realize you can take advantage of those little moments in your day. Like putting water into something, I'll stand there and I'll march in place. Now we're going to do back kicks again. Moving out. I did not bring the weights today. I'll have them with me on Wednesday. So you can plan if you're going to do this to have your weights with you. If you don't do a lot with the weights, 
I use the one pound. I think I'm going to graduate to the two pounds Wednesday. Just gives me a little bit more definition in my arm when I use the weights. And um, golf season coming up, I need that. Four, three, two, one, and walk, walk, walk. Yes, it's getting near that time. Got to slow it down a little bit. I have no idea. I should have looked at my watch ahead of time to see how many step we've, steps we've walked. I was hoping for about 2,000, 2,500. Keep your hands really hard. Low kicks. Again, this is something you can do on a commercial. Just stand up and kick a little bit. Notice I'm not just doing this because I want that to show up on my watch. So there must be some correlation using your whole body instead of just your feet. With a commercial on TV where the lady is sitting there trying to get her steps, so she puts the watch on her dog and um, gets all the steps she needs, but it's not doing her any good. So just having that number isn't, isn't really you know, the end all. It's knowing you're getting up, you're moving, you're engaging your whole body, and you're enjoying what you're doing. And we're just going to slow down a little bit forward and back. <clears throat> Shaking off. Put your hands behind your back and go down. And up. Down. have engaged our arms and our shoulders, we want to stretch those. Very important to stretch our legs. <clears throat> Go back and stand if you can. I don't know why I did that. Very good. Turn forward with that back stretch and the calf. Up. Up, down, up, and down, and down. Thank you for joining me this morning. Again, if you have any feedback, um, if it's not too critical, I can handle it. If there's something you want me to do a little bit different, please let me know if you have some suggestions. Um, not sure when we're going to have classes back, but this is kind of a good one. You can turn it on at any time, watch it when you're ready to walk, and you can learn from it. You don't have to just be watching it to have the benefits of walking. So thank you for joining me, and um, I appreciate any feedback we get. Have a great day. See you Wednesday.